like I love you. He is trying to tear us apart. Fairly well, I know you're leaving for the new love that you found. Well, the handsome guy you've been dating, I got a feeling he's gonna let you down because I say now he don't. If he did, he wouldn't help break, break your heart. He don't love you now like I love you. He's trying to tear us apart. He uses all the great old quotation. He says all the things I wish I could say. Good afternoon, well, ladies and so gentlemen. Good. Welcome to the Duncan Showroom. We're here for the Eugene Smith and Bill Levity Show. It's uh, number 47, season Boy. two, episode four. <laughs> wow, I got that You up. got that all out. That's, That's good. And this hat is a little tight, Gene, so my, you know, things aren't working as they should. Well, I hope they're appreciating uh, it. Well, I hope so. Jeez. You know. Getting dressed up. I have my fool shirt on from Twelfth Night. Is that uh, from the Twelfth Night? Yeah. Twelfth Night, wonderful play, handmade by Jennifer Clough, a local thespian and nice. seamstress. Yes, who owns, uh, what's, she got a cute name for her, uh, it's a bit of a saucy name for her craft store. We won't remember it right away. Sorry, Jennifer. Anyway, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. I'm, uh, yeah. Your hair's grown about an inch or two since last week, <laughs> yeah. right? I know. They're starting to um, droop now because they're Are getting they? longer, yeah. Before they were sticking out and they yeah. looking like buckwheat. Buckwheat. Have you noticed the weight gain? What, on my head? Well, yeah. Uh, no, be. not yet. Not yet. It's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need one of them neck props. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I haven't noticed it yet. They're still... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I sometimes I just don't feel it. I feel these guys, right? Because right. they've been around for twenty six years, twenty seven years. So. Yeah, and uh, what's the drying time? Do you estimate on that? Uh, for well, you go in the shower, you get out, they're still wet. Oh well, it takes longer in the um, in the winter, and mm. in the summer it dries. Sort real, of a cooling real quick. cooling mechanism. In yeah, the in the yeah. winter it, it takes a little longer. There you go. And I have to, yeah, it's like people have always asked me about how you wash your hair, like when it's looking like that. And I go, it's just like you do. It just takes longer. You say with water. With water. Right. <laughs> soap. <laughs> Lots of soap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, uh, you've you been picking up your guitar, and you said uh, it's taken you a while to uh, get used to the breath, of course, after your operation, mm -hmm. you know, breathing and, and <clears throat> uh, um, endurance. Yeah, it it's just yeah, it's just a different feel. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying before, I, I I express myself differently when I'm playing my guitar, and then right. plus I'm trying to sing over my guitar too if I'm right. if it's electrified, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just express myself differently, and so I it, I feel it at the end on my chest mm -hmm. if I do too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with the kalimba, I I'm really lazy with the kalimba, like you know. It's, Ping, 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 Sitting ping. Sitting in the park watching the pigeons kind of relax <laughs> you get on there, yeah. Like. So I'm not really forcing it out as much as I do with the guitar. I was watching the, I uh, rewatched the uh, Ed Peekacoot uh, show because I wanted to show my friend Kyler. And I was amazed at that, you said that, you know, the storytelling song? Mm -hmm. You told your story, Ed told his uh, um <laughs> Victoria, oh. it, was, it was a V word and it almost didn't come out right. Uh, Victoria told her story. Beautiful oh yes, song. oh yes, yes. But I'm yes. thinking, did you play that through the whole? Yes, seven? I did. It's not like he looped it. No, no, um, no, he did loop it. 
Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, how does one guy keep playing that long <laughs> in time? Yeah, he did. He looped the kalimba well, because I had to send it um, to Victoria to do hers. True. Right. right. So I had to. I made a CD so she could sing over top. Thank goodness of it. for looping. Tell her. St- yeah. Thank yeah. goodness for looping. Yeah. Well, I hope you do. Uh, just a note on that one. I hope you do go on and finish it. Uh, Tim had thrown in some video of you and Ed, but it would be nice to have you know, a story video that went along with that. Uh, yeah, it was... It's a really I, great... Yeah, I never got a chance to finish it, actually. Well, you're still alive, my friend. I'm still... <laughs> this is me alive. There's time. There's time. Hi. We're glad to have you. Not just for your baking. <laughs> <laughs> just glad to have you. We've, well, got we, a, we've got a big audience today. It's huge. Huger than normal. Uh, what are you going to start us off with? Um... I don't know. Okay, that's all right. You usually wing it. Well, I thought I... I, Last week I did Victoria's, one of her favorite songs, so I thought I would try and do uh, the song that you like a lot. (gasps) I know. It's been a while. I'm not pressuring you, though. No, no. It'll it'll work, I think. Okay. A piece of wood. When I was just a youngster, the Pied Piper was one of my heroes, yeah. The elders scorned him, the children adored him, he was real folk. Well, he flew along, on his flute all day long. When the rodents hit the town, he just smiled, said, no problem, yeah. He was just a man doing what he could. Drove them rats to the sea with a, just a piece of wood, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Rodents 
folks hit the town. He just smiled, said, no problem. Yes, he did. Ah, uh, he did. And she did. <laughs> they both did. Yo. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still got it, baby? <laughs> Well, I don't know, uh, slightly different, but not really. I mean, it's still got the whole thing there, you know, the whole package. The package is still there. Uh, the package is still there. <laughs> I'm determined that one day we will sit around, maybe when we put one of those little sugar cubes in our tea, and we'll write the third verse <laughs> for Maurice, the Rocket Richard. The Rocket Richard. <laughs> also famous for his piece of wood, workery. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll work on that. Yeah, we'll work on that. Uh, do you want to know who's on? Who's in? Who's in today? Oh, they've, they've scrolled way down. Leany Beanie sends a heart. Uh, Peter Russell and his brother Rob. Rob speaking in Spanish and French. He must be in quite the mood today. And Carol Gordon, you are alive. That's a great exclamation. <laughs> Glad to see. Uh, oh, uh, Carol says, one of mine and brother Peter's favorite songs. Oh. Colleen Finley, looking great, Eugene. Gloria, are you here? Oh, they're talking back and forth now. Um, <laughs> yeah, also, Carol Gordon says, excellent, and that's one of Peter's favorite songs. There you go. Yes, well. And Nancy P. watching on Facebook, too. Says, welcome back. Oh, Nancy, hi. Oh, uh, <clears throat> hey. Now, Gene, I, I just wanted you to know, I, I know you've uh, tried unsuccessfully to set me up before, but today I have also the red velveteen pants <laughs> on. <laughs> So, nice. if some uh, dashing Guinevere were to walk in well, off the street... You'd I, be ready. I think I'm ready, yeah. <laughs> You're ready. Maybe I should take off the hat first, though. Oh. It's hot. Or she'd say, that's my kind of fool. <laughs> that's the woman you really want, isn't it? Yeah, is that a hot... It was a hot it's on a your bit, head? It's a bit tight. <laughs> oh, tight. So, for yeah. a man, you know, if the circulation's not so good... That's not good, good for you, Bill. Not good for you. <laughs> Circulation might go somewhere else. <laughs> Could go wrong. Anyway, uh, what what else do you know? Uh, things things are going good for yeah, you. Yeah, it's it's uh, you know just uh, doing the show with you and, and right? everybody here at the showroom and the that's about as much as I've been playing. There's nothing else going on. You well, know? That's a bit of excitement for us. Yeah, once a week. Yeah. <laughs> it works. You know, <laughs> gives Keep you a reason to call me in the middle of the day again, which yes. I always value, of course. <laughs> but uh, other than that, uh, yeah, and, um, I'm reading, um, uh, right now I'm reading a story about Anthony Hopkins. Oh, how's that? It's uh, doing, uh, it's, it's okay, he's, he's a weird guy, actually. Is he strange and interesting? Yeah, yeah. yeah they were kind of comparing him a little bit to um, uh, Elizabeth Taylor's husband, oh, Richard right. Burton. Oh, Burton, an intense guy. Yeah, intensity, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, it's kind of, yeah, he's, it's interesting. Anybody who could act with that kind of intensity, you've got to wonder. Yeah. yeah and he went off the rails a few times, and he's an alcoholic also. Oh, he was or he no, is? No, he is an alcoholic, and he hasn't, he hasn't been drinking for a long time now. Right. But uh, his wife saved him from alcoholism. Ah, a good woman, himself. again. A good woman came into the picture, oh, yes. We're always searching. Oh, hold it, there's a little activity, Gene, sorry. What? Bill and Pat, piece of wood, the greatest. <laughs> You're certainly in top form tonight, Eugene. Thanks for the hit of endorphins. So you can do it over the internet. And Victoria, love the hat. Billy, great song, Eugene. <laughs> Voice is coming back beautifully. Sing your heart out. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, 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 right, literally, don't do that. <laughs> We don't, don't want to bust these stitches, which are <laughs> supposedly healed. I don't want to sing my yeah, heart phrase, out too much. A phrase like that takes on uh, new new meaning, doesn't it? So well, who do we have today? Well, we have. Uh, well, we must say first of all to yes. our uh, the guest who we were going to have that she we hope she's well. We were going to have Jan Sterling, 
mm-hmm. who was born in Brantford, where I was raised. Yeah. So we were all excited. She's uh, had a great or having a great career in Victoria with her jazz and mm-hmm. uh, sound healing. Uh, she's a songwriter. So very, uh, very active uh, in the music scene. Mm-hmm. And she was going to bring Jeremy Sager, who we all know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jeremy plays up here a fair bit, doesn't he, Tim? Yeah, a lot. He shows up with uh, people like Thor and the Thundercats, or uh, who he else has he with, played here he with? with Jeff Blankenhorn. Blankenhorn. Jeff Blankenhorn. Jeff Blankenhorn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah a very accomplished player, as well as uh, being a songwriter. Yeah, well, I played with Kanye and... Uh, <clears throat> right. So we hope uh, that Jan gets better, and uh, we look forward to rescheduling them. Yes. Yes, we had our second reschedule for the season. Yeah, she's she's willing to do it again. Good. Like, but she just didn't want to take a chance and yeah. make, make us all sick if she's nope. not feeling well. Appreciate that, Jan, and hope you're feeling better. And uh, also we'll shout out to David Gogo, whose plucking finger we hope is healing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a few weeks ago. Yeah, he right. injured his finger. Yeah, I and, put uh, I put out the I put out the feelers to David to oh see good. if he's interested again. Good. Yeah. But we do. Luckily, we had yep. uh, one of our dear friends and a friend of the showroom uh, was available today. They just arrived in town on Friday. Was it Friday? By train. Yeah. Friday. I think. Did you come by train? And which is so cool because you uh, share that with them, the love of the train. Oh, God, yes. <clears throat> and I don't think you played this time, did you? Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. So, and I must admit, since I was uh, only notified this morning, I didn't catch up on Chris's biography. So oh. <laughs> we have to just go on the knowledge that we have. Well, he'll tell us all about himself. Well, that's when he gets the thing. We'll catch up in the interview. <laughs> So uh, please, <laughs> let us welcome Mr. Chris Whiteley to the stage. Oh, oh, he's been drinking. That, that first stare is too small, Chris, he's I must say. Been, he's, been, he's been drinking. As a carpenter, I oh, take they issue. They me with alcohol as soon as I arrive. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it's a good thing you didn't get into that other cloudy haze. Cloud. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, it comes. How are you? I'm good. Good. It's so good to see you and Diana. I mean, just such a treat. Well, we love being here, and it's good. Uh, it's great to be back in Duncan and yeah. back at the showroom and nice. see you guys. Yeah, wonderful. We are very lucky to have you now. Are we? Uh, I was trying to guess at how long you visited last time. Uh, it was about a year and a half we oh were my here. Gosh. Yeah, it really was, wasn't it? Was it? A long time. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad that you love the Valley so much and you were still able to get around a little bit while you were here, uh, do some gigs, though limited during COVID, right? But Yeah, uh, it, we were able to do Herman's in yeah. Victoria, some stuff up in Nanaimo and uh, Courtney. Right. right. But, yeah. Right. Have you made good, uh, and I heard you're staying till the end of May, is that right? Yeah. Right, so you can play my birthday gig, thank you, that's on the 12th. <laughs> we haven't set that yet. So okay. <laughs> Uh, but that'll give you a good uh, period of time to connect with people and yeah, play a we'll little bit. Get some gigs and uh, right. see all our good friends out here and yeah, enjoy Hopefully ourselves. Hopefully the Queens will be going again. Yes. <coughs> you know, the Queens will be yeah, happening. Up in Nanaimo, yeah, I think we're, uh, we're scheduled to do a set up in there as soon as they open the doors yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's right. good. Well, how did it feel going back to uh, back east to Ontario how did it feel when you got home? You know, it was kind of different at first, but it was we the day we arrived, we got there, and within three hours we were in London doing a festival. Yeah, so yeah. We, we didn't waste any time. We we were like right into the fire, you yeah. know. So uh, that was a good way to yeah, start yeah. think kick things off, and we we played at the uh, London Music Festival, and then. Uh, there was another festival the next weekend, so we didn't have much time to uh, think about it. We just kept playing tunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Plus, we got a lot of family there, as you know. Yeah, yeah. Friend, fr- uh, you know, dear friends. So it was good to see all them. But uh, you know, we began to miss our second home out here in Duncan, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we had to get back here. Our second good. home. Yeah. I love to hear you guys say that. That's nice that you feel comfortable. And we have, yeah. we have Diana. Gonna be, she's going to come in on the, the 15th, did we say? 
Did you say that? Yeah. Of March. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear Did that. I say that? Yes, no, I... not to me, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just the host. Sir, <laughs> you don't need to know these I things, I can wing Billy. it I, on a need-to-know basis, my friend. That's right. <laughs> so We're, what have you got for us today, Chris? Well, I've got a few choices here, but I figured I might, uh, I might start off with... Um, an old tune that I learned from a, an interesting group from the 1940s and 50s called The Cats and the Fiddle. And um, this is a crazy little thing called I'd Rather Drink Muddy Water, Sleep in a Hollow Log. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, so yes. Uh, we've got our hollow log booked across the street that we <laughs> stay in while yeah. we're out here. And uh, anyway... Uh, it goes something like this. Now I think we better have a little talk Before I have to pack my things and walk You know a dollar goes from hand to hand before I'd let you go from man to man, I'd rather drink muddy water, sleep out in a hollow log. Now I went for you just like a charging mule. My friends, they laughed, they called me a fool. Your kisses taste. Sweet as candy But before I'd let you make a sap out of me I'd rather drink muddy water Sleep out in a hollow log not there you just don't know how to be on the square so have your fun baby if you must before I'll have a woman that I can't trust I'd rather drink muddy water sleep out in a hollow low I said thinking that uh, just as with Eugene, it's, it's good to retell some stories, but also to uh, hear about uh, opportunities where you got to play with some of your heroes at festivals, or can you think of a time when you uh, were especially thrilled to meet someone and, and maybe share a stage? Or Yeah, I, had a, I, I was lucky enough to have quite a few of those experiences. Um, I remember, um, this is kind of a bittersweet occasion, I always have been a big fan of the great blues man John Lee Hooker right. and uh, the group I was uh, playing with uh, we were the house band at a um, venue in Toronto and he came in to uh, to do a couple of nights there and uh, I was going to play harmonica with John Lee Hooker which oh, wow. was like wow dream, <laughs> dream come yeah. true right yeah. unfortunately uh, John Lee didn't uh, have his guitar in concert pitch so oh. the harmonica being unable to be tuned you know right. I gave it the old college try for a few notes, and I said, this ain't going to work. So first night, I had to take a pass. But right. uh, luckily, second night of the gig, 
his, uh, I think it was his cousin from Detroit, came and was playing the organ right. on the gig. And, of course, the organ is in concert pitch, so everybody tuned up to the organ, yeah. got out my harp, and yeah. it was right in there, and uh, got to play with John Lee Hooker. So that was, nice. uh, that was a thrill. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, a lot of the other uh, great old blues artists, um, you know, passed through it at different festivals and stuff. Uh, one of them who's maybe not as well known as some is a, a guy by the name of Blind John Davis from Chicago. He was one of those unsung heroes kind of thing. He was the uh, house piano player for Bluebird Records, which was the big blues label back in the day in the 40s and 50s. So all those records by uh, Big Bill Brunzi, Tampa Red, um, Memphis Mini, so many of the classic blues recordings on the Blue Blur label. That's him playing yeah, piano oh, and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. stuff. And uh, so we got to uh, actually do an album with him and uh, do some touring and play a lot of gigs with him. So that was another one who, that was a uh, big thrill for me. And uh, he taught me a lot, actually. He, uh, he used to have a routine where he would stay up late after the gig the night before and then He'd, he'd get up late in the morning, and um, then all afternoon we'd sit around at the piano and jam and go over tunes, and he'd show us how the tunes went and all this kind of thing. Then he'd go and uh, take a nap, right. and then get up and have a meal and go back to the gig, and that was kind of like the daily routine. So got right. to uh, play with him at night, but some of the uh, the greatest sessions were really, you know, three in the afternoon, just going over old tunes and listening to him right. uh, play these songs. And uh, he, he'd, he'd been there for all of these really magic moments. Uh, I remember one story he, he told that um, he, um, he went over to, uh, to Europe with, um, with Big Bill Brunzi and uh, he got there, and uh, apparently um, the Big Bill had kind of forgotten to work out the budget, okay. um, you know. So, uh, you know, <laughs> they were over there, and uh, he said, well, man, Bill, why did you bring me on this tour? And he said, well, I thought you would enjoy the experience. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Who needs food and lodging? Eh? Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 did you, uh, when you were talking about John Lee Hooker, did you uh, see his daughter? Yeah, at, Zakia. In, in yeah. King, was that in Kingston? Uh, we met her in Kingston one time, and then uh, also in, in Toronto, I think. Yeah, yeah, we, she's good. Eh? Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah really yeah. lovely, lovely Little tiny too. woman, you yeah. know, and, but, but she yeah. can sing really well. Yeah. yeah, Diane and I did some some gigs with her at Hughes Room, you know, in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. How do you think the uh, the venues in Toronto have fared overall? Uh, did you notice a big change in the ones that were With open, the ones that were... Well, you know, there's been a few, unfortunately, that didn't survive the whole COVID yeah. shutdown, but um, things are starting to open up again, so Good. hopefully I know that um, one of the... Roots music venues there. Hughes Room is opening up again, and okay. they've got a, They've found a new location, which is right. very good. So that's happening, and uh, you know, in a city like that, there's always a lot of changeover. There'll be venues that open for a few years, and uh, then they close down, and other ones spring up to take their place. So it's kind of an ever-changing, right. you know, scene. But with the uh, with the COVID. Uh, just before I left to come back here, the, some of the clubs had opened up. The clubs had opened up and yeah. people were playing music, but only lasted uh, three weeks or two weeks. Shut down and again. then they all shut yeah, down. Yeah, that um, really helps business. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They all shut yeah. down again, you know. And the El Macombo, I heard they were going to rebuild it or something. Or Is that true? Yeah, I, that? I heard something about they, that. I mean, I don't have any, uh, you yeah. know, inside they, information. Right, yeah, on yeah. That, oh, some fellow bought it. Yeah. And refurbished it and everything else, and was opening it up again. So I don't know if it's open now, mm. but probably is. Yeah. Well, it certainly uh, has a lot of amazing history there. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see it opening again for sure. 
Well, we're lucky out here, as you said, uh, that Herman's is still functioning and the Duncan showroom is still here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nanaimo, where's the good, uh, where would you guys play in Nanaimo? Queens. Queens Hotel. It would be the Queens. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mostly the Queens. And we've, they have a blues festival there that we've played as well. Oh, that sure, happens in right. August, I think, or something. And right. Yeah. And they maybe good, took a miss last year, but... Uh, We'll be back this year, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. No, it's there a was great rumors that the our folk venue. fest might come back, so... Well, cross fingers crossed. Right? That's right. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. <laughs> so, uh, another song, uh, All right, well, you know, as I said, we're living in that hollow log across the road, so we, <laughs> we, we had to kind of move a little farther back, so... <laughs> you might say we had to move to the outskirts of town. Outskirts of town. Which brings me to my next number, which uh, is entitled The right. Outskirts of Town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to move. Yeah, we got to move to the outskirts of town. Because I don't want nobody, nobody always hanging around. No, we won't need no ice man when we get out there. Don't need no ice man. I'm gonna buy you a frigidaire when we move. Yeah, when we move to the outskirts of town. always hanging around met your life had been so tame i took you to a nightclub and the whole band knew your name that's why we got to move that's why we got to move to the outskirts of town because i don't want nobody nobody always hanging around right yeah. down today. Oh, you guys are good at endings. Yeah. Man, I think I dated that girl too. Yeah. That sounds yeah. familiar. <clears throat> well, I no. Sure, you, no. <laughs> I sure love that guitar. It does have a lot of pluck, you know, and lovely bass to Stella's and, and but those those need a lot of work yeah. classically, right? If you can find necks. one that's still in good shape, the Stella's where well, they were kind of a low end guitar right. in their day, but they're uh, if you can find one that's still in good shape, they were really pretty nicely made guitars. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of what kind of Stella did you St say? Stella. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not sure where they were made. Do you, do you know? Was it, Amer is it American? Yeah, I think uh, somewhere in the Midwest, of the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Well, you might as well stay up here with me. I'd like to. <laughs> yeah. You're such a friendly guy. Yeah. <laughs> might as well stay up. We'll, 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 we'll try a song together. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, just to... That's the bridge. Right. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. <laughs> now we've had our run through. Yeah. We can do the tune. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the run through. This is called uh, Walking a Thin Line. It's a song I wrote some time ago just for what was going on in the world today, I guess.
<laughs> we got them endings down, boy, I'll tell you. You guys are good. sharp. <laughs> Not just good dressers, I tell you. <laughs> Wait, we got a couple of notes here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Jeremy Sager says, great show, gentlemen. Thanks for saying those nice things about me earlier. Certainly, Jeremy, we look forward to seeing you. He's always welcome here. Uh, Elma Combo bought by one of the old Dragon's Den guys. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's either good or bad, isn't it? <laughs> Victoria said, sounding great, Chris. Hi, Diana. Ah, sing, sing away, John O'Flynn. There we go. Oh, uh, Chris, before we say goodnight, I always love to ask you about your kids, how they're doing. Uh, can they stay musical as they're growing up and raising families and all? Still staying musical, yeah. Good. <coughs> Good. Hope to uh, get them out here at some point. Oh, that'd be wonderful. You know, it's a little yeah. awkward with the traveling these yeah. days still, but, you know, things are looking brighter for the, you know. Right. Right. Not we too distant so. future, so yes. we'll hope to have a whole uh, family reunion right here at the oh, showroom that'd sometime. Be brilliant. Yeah. Whoa, that'd, that'd be brilliant. Whoa, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be fun, yeah. Yeah. How many uh, occasions have you been able to play together? Uh, oh, with kind of everybody all together, not that often. Right. I mean, I've, I've played mostly... For years, I used to do, to do a gig with uh, my oldest son, Dan. Right. Yes. And um, so I played with him quite a bit, and then... Um, I did it. I did some work with uh, my daughter Jenny on uh, right. some of her album work. I oh, nice. played some steel and harmonica yeah. and uh, did some production on some of her stuff, and uh, that was really a treat. I love her I songwriting. Bet. I'm yes biased, no well, doubt, but still a, ba <laughs> still a big a fan. No, and, she's uh, a very good songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Jesse, the uh, the youngest, he's a uh, he's a really great keyboard player. So right. it'll be. Uh, Great to get him out here too, and uh, yeah. yeah, he can really uh, play the boogie woogie. And oh, all that that's stuff. great! Yeah. I was I was just thinking, you and Diana have a best of both worlds. Six months back there and six months back here. Yes, but I just say that's that's really nice to be yeah, able to that's do a good that. Life. Yeah. yeah. Be nice if uh, on the train too, if they get the music happening again. That is a great program. I hope they do get that back. That's the. Um, Musician on board. Yeah, thing they have. Yeah, yeah, you've done that many, many uh, times. No, I've, no? I, no, I've never done it. They work you too hard. I mean. <laughs> <But> <laughs> he likes you to just, relax. But you take your. I mean, I remember you on there with your guitar doing. Well, it doing started. Songs well, stuff, it started yeah. out with my cousin. Right. Uh, he used to come and get me in coach and take me back to, uh, to first and second class, and I'd play for them, and then I get the rest of my trip in a cabin. Right. But I wouldn't get paid. But 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 and I get some meals for the rest of my trip. Well, somebody else that works for Via Rail caught on to what we were doing yeah. and started the program. Well, it, it is a great program because, yeah. uh, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful way to see the country, as you oh, know. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and doing a couple of two or three sets a day on, on the train is, is a lot of fun, actually, because... As you know, you got a lot of hours to kill. Yeah, yeah <laughs> across, all the way across. Yeah, Canada. I know. You can yeah. only play so much cribbage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or dice. Yeah, we we uh, get we that music. We enjoy doing that. So hopefully they will have that that program back in place. Do you wear? I was telling people to wear long sleeve shirts when you're going through from car to car, because if you don't, you bump into the walls, right? Oh, and yeah. then your yeah. arms get all red. I don't from know the if that paint happened to you guys. Hmm? From paint? From no, from the uh, oh, from the walls because you're oh, bumping just into bruisey red. Just yeah, yeah, just yeah. yeah, yeah. Just yeah, I noticed that, so I right. started wearing uh, long sleeve <laughs> shirts and everything when I elbow pads. Elbow pads. <laughs> 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 I think you know it wasn't because I was well informed. I think I was wearing a long sleeve shirt yeah. just because it was a little cool. You yeah, know, more, yeah, more yeah, than yeah. Anything, yeah. but yeah. But that uh, could be dangerous because the train's rocking pretty good yeah. sometimes, and when they get when they get uh, picking up speed, so. Especially on the prairies. Yeah, you're, you are literally bouncing off the walls. Right. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one time on the train, they had to tell the engineer to slow down because the people in the dining car were, they were spilling stuff. You know, yeah. <laughs> they get a little were, excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, because they were going so fast. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we like to uh, thank you, Chris, for coming out tonight Thanks and saving so our butts. I, uh, I had a great time. Yeah, I always yeah. do, and uh, you know. Glad I could uh, come and help out. Thank you so much for filling in, and wonderful to see you guys again. Right, thanks a Beautiful. lot. Good night, everybody. 
Hope you enjoy the show. Well, good night, everybody. Hope you enjoy the show. Well, come on back next week, and we'll play some more. Say good night, everybody. Hope you had some fun. Well, good night, everybody. Hope you had some fun. Well, we'll start from the beginning. Oh, up till the rising sun. All right, Billy, come on now. I said good night, everybody. I hope you had a good time. I said good night, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Well, come on back next week. We'll eat some cheese and drink some wine. <laughs> All right, go there, Chris. Everybody. Good night, everybody. I say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Well, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Well, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Well, come on back next week, all right. And we'll play you some more. <laughs> Lovely to see hear you all next week. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris, and beautiful to see you again as well, Diana. Uh, see you next week with Harold Anderson. Harold Anderson. Right on. Good. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dr. Ted and Longevity John. See you soon. Yeehaw!